No, this is a view. This is Norway. My dream road trip. PVA glue and paper mache. Jesus, I don't know how they lived in these sort of conditions. And this <laughs> is the story of that road trip. Already buzzing for this road trip. <laughs> After leaving Christian Sand, our first stop off was a hike in Igerson. <laughs> now, troll picking which is where we're off to now is well it's essentially a rock and it's on the top of some hill somewhere hopefully in this area where we are and it was given the name troll picking by a hiker and troll picking in english translates to trolls penis and presumably when they're saying the rock and more worryingly that was the first thing that come to the head in 2017 as i mentioned not everyone's really embraced the rock and the tourism that I brought because 2017 someone essentially climbed up, drilled some holes in it. And now after seeing it in person, now I see what Danny must have felt like when she first met me for the first time. Because that's not as magnificent as I was expecting it to be. <laughs> that because it's got the joins and stuff in it from where they fixed it it does look a little bit sketchy and i don't know like there's a big sort of crevasse with you if i fell in there i'm knackered really and i don't know if it's a bit frowned upon or not but either way we've seen for the first time a troll's penis and however the reason i think it's so sketchy is because i would base that on if a contractor from sunderland put that bat up and be like pva glue and paper mache that's what worried me what if it was jeff from gen 2 but although the rock wasn't as big as what we expected just the sort of walk and the terrain and stuff's gorgeous up here and from the top where you sort of see the rock thing you see what the rest of the terrain is like further around it's, it's like you're on a different planet we've got a rough idea of where we think there's somewhere we can park but we're not 100 percent sure whether we can or whether it's even decent if we can but ultimately we're back in the van we've got plenty of time it's 24, 25, 26, so yeah, we should be there well before it's dark anyway and probably a bit too early. But if not, it'll give us time to then try and find somewhere else. So we're gonna make a push on and fingers crossed, we can find somewhere decent. We drove for a couple of hours to our planned park up for the evening, but unfortunately it was closed. We then drove for another mile or so until I found a lay-by on the side of the road and decided that this was our first park up. So we found a little park up after the initial planned one was, well, closed. But we're on what is presumably one of the windiest places we've seen. But the scenery from around this corner presumably is breathtaking because driving round the corner also was. Oh, because it's freezing, get our coats on and go and have a nib. <laughs> That's not even funny how nice that is. what 
know what it's been like the whole time we've been driving pretty much everywhere you look this is definitely the best view we've seen yet but the other views haven't been far off this it's absolutely amazing i love it now there's a view to wake up to morning everyone day number two on no way and last night we almost got blown away the camper van was getting battered by wind where we parked is like an alleyway and the winds were up to 45 50 mile an hour and we were just lucky to be honest that it was coming from the back of the van and not the side because if it was the side it would have been far too strong we would have had to move somewhere else or at least sort of try and position the van in a different way but either way we were still up most of the night which wasn't ideal however we are in Norway what is that to complain about other than the wind like I've just complained <laughs> So it looks like it's gonna be a bit of a hike. Not that I mind too much, but the views look ridiculous on it. So we're pretty much I mean, we're 150 meters away and the clouds are coming over, so I don't think we're going to see now. I normally alright with heights but that, that's, di that's a different level of height there. In a way I am glad that it is as cloudy as it is because this would be terrifying if it wasn't cloudy. It's terrifying now. Hi. <laughs> and that, that's, even that's ballsy. <laughs> got me a nervous wreck. <laughs> we then headed back to the van and pushed on further north where we will pick up from in episode 2 when a Welshman saves our Norwegian road trip. Thanks for watching.